Raw Patchy Christy is at it again. Gosh darn it all to heck. Hey guys, so today's video, I'm gonna be trying out this new palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is the Millennial Pinks palette. Oh, look at that palette. It is honestly so beautiful. I can't even believe it. I'm gonna be doing a look today that is a recreation of a look that I saw on Instagram from Snook. If you guys don't follow her, oh my God, she is amazing. She does the most beautiful makeup. And I saw this look on Melt Cosmetics Instagram page and I died. One of the most stunning eye looks I feel like I've ever seen. She is amazing. There's also a TikTok that goes along with it. And with that pink wig, oh, kill me. So if you guys don't follow Snook, definitely do so. I'm gonna be completely copying her eye look on this. It's not my own. It's so beautiful and I'm really excited to give these colors a go. As you guys know, if you guys watched my last video, it's been a rough go, but I want to take my mind off of that and just do some like makeup therapy. I need a little bit of a reprieve from my brain, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and your kind words and just how wonderful you guys all were reading the comments and just knowing that I have a lot of people out there who kind of understand. Maybe gonna get a little more into that in just a moment, but before we get into the makeup portion of this, video. I am now on the second year of partnering up with HelloFresh. You have those areas of your life that you always have to think about every day anyway, like what you're going to eat or cooking for yourself. It's so delicious, first of all, but it's also just so incredibly helpful to have around, like coming up with a specific type of healthy meal. All of the guesswork is out of it. You just open it up. There's a recipe card in there with really easy steps for you to follow. They don't take a long time per meal. I just love them so much. If you don't know who HelloFresh is, they're a meal delivery service. You can go on there and select your meals and they deliver them directly to your door and an insulated box and in that box each meal is bagged out and then in each bag is all of the ingredients you need everything is pre-measured out for you and then you've got your fresh veggies in there your meat if you got any is underneath the ice packs in the box they've got low calorie vegetarian family friendly recipes every week they also take out having to meal plan and prep so you can really just get to cooking and it really only takes about 30 minutes some of the meals are even 20 minutes with quick recipe options that you can choose the packaging that they use to ship your food in is made almost entirely out of recyclable and or already recycled content which is awesome i love that so much you can change your delivery days food preferences if you want to you can skip a week if you need to this week we tried blackened tilapia tacos i replaced the shells with low carb tortilla shells and honestly these were so good so fresh so yummy. Wow. I look good. <laughs> Yum. That is good. So good. <laughs> I was on FaceTime the other day with my friend and he was telling me how much he loves cooking and how he's been really getting into cooking things completely from scratch. And I was like, have you ever heard of HelloFresh? <laughs> I felt like I was trying to like sell him on it. The food tastes so good and it is like cooking from scratch but without having to do any of the grocery shopping. I'm gonna have the link in the description of this video but you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and enter the code ROBBEAUTY10 at checkout and that will get you 10 free meals plus shipping on your first month of signing up for HelloFresh. And thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video and now let's try out this palette couldn't be a better day for it because today is valentine's day does valentine's day mean anything to me i did get engaged on valentine's day 11 years ago can you believe that this year we will have been together for 15 years that is nuts to me literally nuts that's in august so in that video that snook did it looks like she started off with this shade here and then went into either this or this one maybe a little bit of both on like a big fluffy brush. And mostly focused it because this is like a total halo eye. Honestly, I wanted to thank you guys so much. I know I said this a little bit in the beginning, but you have no idea how helpful it was for me to uh, post that video and just hopefully be able to move past the emotions that I've been feeling. As you guys are watching this video, this is gonna be up on the evening of Friday. Wow, my skin looks weird. <laughs> Looks so dry. Doesn't matter, this is gonna be smoked out. This morning that you guys are watching this at 9 a.m., I will have gotten my MRI, which I'm really excited for. Nervous at the same time, but also excited in a way that there'll be a little bit of answers maybe, or some help in any way, I don't know. Okay, let's watch the video again. Okay. So it looks like she goes into Flamingo Dream and maybe a little bit of Modern Love. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't show the dipping into the palette in the video. And doing like a halo eye, like a mostly inner and outer focus. I've never done this before, but I have headphones in. I have like a wireless headphone in. Listening to music when I'm doing this and 
Wow, it's nice. I do have to change it though because it's like random lo-fi beats and I hate it. Yep, underneath the eye. Okay, I need a bigger fluffy brush. This isn't cutting it. I can definitely tell that she used a mixture of this and Modern Love because the color was way deeper on her. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I look ill. <laughs> I need my lips to not look like this right now. Bye bye butthole. This palette is stunning. Melt Cosmetics is absolutely killing it with their palettes. I can't even tell you like, but they're one of my favorite palette brands. I just think that they do such a good job of coming up with such new and cool and interesting ideas. And their color schemes, you can tell they just, they, they know what they're doing. I'm listening to a playlist right now that I think is like kind of amazing. My husband found it the other day and it's called Yacht Rock on Spotify. Please look it up. It's just lovely. Okay, now what's next? Okay, like blue. Oh, okay. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. It's stupid. So I'm gonna take the shade GF right here. God, it's like this gorgeous muted gray blue. Oh my God. These don't seem like colors you could layer, but you really can. Okay, what did she do? She just really packed it on and blended it out. Yeah. All right, I'm just going for it. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done my foundation first, shit. are layering only okay. Just leaving the inside of it open because you're gonna pat the shimmery shades on right there. These blue shades definitely have a lot of fallout, although I am packing it on, so I'm like creating that. So you want to definitely do your eyes first with this palette, if you plan on getting it. That is a little patchy. I'm trying to build it up, but it's kind of feeling a little bit patchy to me. Maybe when all the other colors are on, it won't be. Could just be me, cause I'm not really like doing a very good job. Try to whisk away. Oh, yikes. That didn't work. So. Snooky, make it look so easy. I just feel like it wants to be a little bit patchy in this outer corner. It is what it is. These colors are stunning. I love them. I love them. I feel like this one it looks better. Like I'm already getting a little bit better of a blend out of it. Maybe I just packed too much on. I got carried away. This is my jam. Dude, music is amazing how it can help. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you'll feel like one way and then you just throw a good song on and it's like all is right in the world. Hurry boy, she's waiting there for you. It's gonna take a lot to turn you away from you. This makes it look like I can't blend eyeshadow. Mm, but I can. Yep, so I appreciate it. See this patchiness out here, dude? It's making me crazy. Using the techniques that I see her using, like using the bigger, fluffier brushes and stuff, just not for me. I need these little more precision brushes, I feel. She's amazing, that's all I can say. Raw Patchy Christy is at it again. Gosh darn it all to heck. What's next, Snook? Okay, then you pat it on the pink shade. Which one? Mixed Emotions, okay. Okay, then she took a brush and patted this shade on the middle of the lid. Mixed Emotions. I'm gonna be using my Time 205 brush for this. Let's see if this brush works. I feel like I could probably get a better application in the center with my finger. And then patting out the edges with the brush. Oh, a fur chair. Look at that. That changes the whole thing, bitch. I don't wanna lose your love tonight. Okay, that's stunning. And I am mad that I ever questioned it because <laughs> that is, I'm gonna do my brows real quick because it's really throwing me off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I 
don't want to do the tears I don't think but I still want to do like that blue liner I don't know maybe maybe I do want to do that I don't know let's see if this is so weird mm, kind of isn't it I'm gonna try to do some tears. I'm gonna try to use this Fenty. I haven't used this in a long time and this this color is probably way too bright. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna toss a quick pair of lashes on to just really amp this look up and then I am gonna work on the lower lash line. I don't know. I, I'm like halfway like thinking that I shouldn't do this but you know, YOLO. So I'm just gonna, oh, I need to do my face products first. I need to do my face products first. I'm gonna throw a little bit of bronzer on because once I do this, I won't be able to do it over the top of the eyeliner and stuff. So these are the new Pure Skin Perfecting Powder Blushes. I think this is the color of the two that I wanna try. This is the color, ooh, that's pretty. This is the color Blushing Act. No, Pretty in Peach. Okay, this is Pretty in Peach. It does look peachy pink. Oh. I think it's my brush that smells like Chocolate, hmm, I don't think it's the blush. Take a little bit of my Bite uh, Change Maker Powder and just coat over that. I've been noticing sometimes I take my blush down a little too much or something, then it can kind of help tone that down just a teeny little bit, so. Okay, now I'm going to do the tears. Who knows, I'm not that good at this. And this product might totally suck for this. I would generally use a brush and some paints. We'll see. That color is so Vibrant. This is the Fenty Vivid Liquid Eyeliner in Hot Tub Club. Or right, I need a more blue eyeliner. Those are not the best tears, but tears nonetheless. Dude, this playlist is lit. What song is this right now? Easy Lover. Okay, now what I wanna do is find a white. So I need to add the little highlights onto here. This is the white, it's Graceland. It's uh, the ColourPop liquid liner. I don't know that it's gonna show up enough. Okay, so let me go try to find a brighter blue, like blue blue eyeliner, because everything that I have right here, like I have this one from ColourPop, but that's a lippy pencil, it doesn't quite look right. I need something like vibrant, so let me go check. I think Fenty just came out with one, but I would never even know where to begin to look. Let me go check and I will be right back. Okay, so the best thing I could find was this NYX matte lip liner in little denim dress, but even that, like over the top of it, didn't really do it. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is, it's totally fine. I am going to just throw a coat of mascara on my upper and lower. I feel like she took the blue down even further to where it definitely looks like that's coming out of the blue. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like she took the blue down into this part of the eye. I just feel like it's too late for that now. Okay, now it's time for a lip color. Her lips are like this gorgeous, like pinky reddy color to go with the eyes. I think this might work. This is ColourPop. I heart this. The tone isn't the same. And then this one is ColourPop Dial Up. I'm gonna throw some Lunar Beauty Dreamy Gloss on top again. Yeah. Pretty. Okay, now I think it's time for highlight. Just need a little bit on some areas. Okay, and then the final part of the video was where she took a highlight shade in the inner corner, I think. God, she's pretty. She doesn't show that, I don't think I can see, but it would probably be that shade. Oh, that shade totally looks like yellowy white in here, but when you put it on, I don't know if you guys can see this, but 
it totally is like a pink duochrome. Ooh. Okay, and Snook did it better, but this is the finished look. Right, and this is the finished makeup look of Snook. Watch out Seuss again. I think it's cute. It's really fun. I really had a good time following this tutorial. I think it's, well, not a tutorial, TikTok. And I really, really think it's cute. You can totally leave out the blue tears and do, I could have done a way better job than this. It's um, midnight, so I'm gonna not be doing that right but if you want to, you definitely can. One thing is though, is that if you've never used this Fenty liner before, cracky. I've used this before on camera and I forgot how absolutely dry and cracky it is. So do keep that in mind. Don't use this on your face. This is staining. Look. Fenty, you fucked me. <laughs> I have an appointment at the doctor. Oh my God. It is a really beautiful palette though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. I can't say enough positive things about this color scheme. It just does something to me. Melts palettes, dude. They just do something to my heart that no other palette has ever been able to achieve in such a way. And I am in love. I just think that it is such a beautiful color combo and mixing the blues with the pinks, kind of living for it. I just think it looks so beautiful. It turns into this like soft smoky purple. I did have a little bit of issues with patchiness, but not like terrible, but not like perfection. And I just, I, I struggled a little bit to blend the shades, but maybe that's because it was like pinks and blues and those typically aren't shades that like do super well together. Everything else I like. I mean, it's not my favorite work that I've ever done. I feel like I could have done a better job and I got a lot of fallout and so my under eyes look a little dark, but you know, we're just gonna move on past it. Let's just make up, washes off, it's fun. Happy Valentine's Day to y'all. I hope that it's a good day. And I thank you all so much again for all of the positivity in my last video. I know this video, I didn't really, you know, go into that much stuff about it. But the thing is, is that sometimes I don't wanna think about it. Sometimes I just, want to move on and like do something creative and put my mind to different use. And during this last two hours that I've been filming, that's exactly what has happened. And I do feel a sense of relief and like escape from just my mind that's been so much lately. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please go follow Snook on Instagram if you don't. Again, I'm gonna leave her Instagram in the description down below. Also, don't forget you guys can check out HelloFresh by clicking on the link in the description of this video. And if you guys want to, you can use code RAWBEAUTY10 at checkout and you get 10 free meals, including shipping on your first month of signing up for HelloFresh. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I just left this recording. When you call me, call me and I'm really had a good time. I'm really, I'm really had a good time. I feel like some character out of Clueless or something. Like, what is this hair?